up. Why are you just hanging out here in the hallway? I think it makes me look bad. Do you think it makes me look bad? I feel bad just hanging out here in the hallway. No, it just looks like you're just standing in the hallway. Well, where are you going, little one? Uh, I'm going to my room to do my homework at my desk. Homework, huh? Well, I'm just too cool for that. I'm too cool for school. I don't know why you're saying this, Jillian. You're actually a pretty good student. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to be bad. Well, I don't know. I'm just trying to do my homework, so bye. See you later, Gator, you little Addy Potato. Okay. You stop that right now. Sup, Buttercup? Hey, weren't you hanging out on the other wall before? I like to be unpredictable. Well, you're not going to be able to predict what I saw in our room. Uh, I don't know. Couch, maybe? Carpet? Walls? No, nope, there's a dog dancing in our room. A dancing dog? Yeah, it's Miska. I think she must have drunk some coffee or something. What kind of dance was she doing? I'm not really quite sure. She was kind of whirling around. The twist? Mmm, not quite that. The Charleston? No, I think that involves waving your hands above your head, or your paws, I guess. Was it the cha-cha-cha? I don't think so. The music wasn't quite right. How about the Watusi? I have no idea what the Watusi is. Well, I'm not gonna act it out for you. Was it a country line dance? I think if it was a country line dance, there'd be a bunch of other dogs and they'd all be wearing hats and boots. That's just ridiculous, Addy. Oh, so a dog dancing by itself isn't ridiculous. Eh, not particularly, especially if she's had coffee. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, the way I see it is you can just go in your room and do your homework and ignore her. It's pretty hard to ignore our dancing dog, Jillian, and she's so cute. Well, maybe once she sees that you're not paying any attention to her, she'll stop. I guess so. I don't believe a word that girl says. Still dancing, huh? Well, I'm just gonna ignore you, so don't worry about me. Oh wait, I guess I'm talking to you, so I'm not ignoring you. Well, I'm ignoring you starting now. Back so soon? Yeah, I finished my homework and everything. Really? No, Jillian, I can't because there's a dog dancing in our room. This would have been a lot easier if your homework was about dancing dogs. No, that was last week. Does she show any signs of slowing down? No, and the worst part is, instead of doing my homework, I kind of wanted to dance. That's the worst part? Well, what do you think we should do, Jillian? Whoa, 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 what's all this we stuff? How's this my problem? Well, you want to hang out in this hallway and look cool, right? I believe I wanted to look bad, but yeah, you get the idea. Well, as long as that dog's dancing in there, I'll be out here talking to you. It's pretty hard for me to look bad with my little sister hanging out with me. Exactly. So what are we going to do? Well, Addy, I'm going to have to admit I don't really believe you on this one, so I'm going to have to check it out myself. Knock yourself out, kiddo. Miska, stop that! You cut that out right now! Addie has to do her homework. Doesn't that mean anything to you? 
Addie can't go into school and tell the teacher tomorrow that the dog was dancing and distracting her from doing her homework. That's just not an option. Bad dog! So how'd it go? Addie, Miska's dancing in your room and she won't stop. Oh, really? Yeah, she wouldn't listen to anything I said. So, um, what dance was she dancing? I think it was reggaeton. I thought reggaeton was a type of music, not a dance. Yeah, I guess you're right. It wasn't the right type of music anyway. So yelling at her didn't work. Any ideas? Well, this may seem a bit radical, Addie, but you could do your homework somewhere else. <laughs> no, seriously, Jolyn, what should we do? She's so inflexible. What can I say? I'm a creature of habit. Well, we could ask Daddy. He usually knows how to handle these kinds of things. Oh, hi, girls. Uh, what are you doing, Daddy? I'm trying to fly on a broom. I don't know how Harry Potter does this. He makes it look so easy. Daddy, Miska's dancing in our room and she won't stop. Well, what kind of dance was she dancing? The jury's still out on that one. We're not getting hung up on the details. Let's just agree that it's a problem that she won't stop dancing. My problem usually is that I just can't even start dancing. So do you have any ideas here, Daddy? Yeah, Addie has to study. She has a big important test tomorrow or something. Actually, it's a research paper, Joanne. Well, I guess I'm going to have to get off this broom and investigate. Miska, stop that. Miska, sit. Stay. Stop dancing. And why didn't I ever train her to stop dancing? Miska, do you want some bacon? You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go outside? You want a bath? Oh no, wait, she doesn't like that. Forget the bath part. You wanna go see the vet? Oh no, she doesn't like that either. What am I thinking? By the look on your face, I'm guessing you couldn't get her to stop dancing. I don't think anyone's going to get that dog to stop dancing. Maybe we can enroll her in a strict dance academy and crush her spirit. I like how you're thinking outside the box, but I think we need something more immediate than that. Let's dump a bucket of cold water on her. Julian, that sounds really mean. Well, it might not have to be cold water, but she might just end up incorporating it into her dance routine somehow. So what do we do, Daddy? Well, back when I was growing up, we'd solve these kind of problems with a dance-off. No, no, no. No dance-offs. We're not doing that. Well, I didn't mean you guys. I meant me. No, you're definitely not doing that. Please don't dance, Daddy. Please. It would be kind of cruel to deny the world my dance moves, don't you think? Let's just agree that it would be cruel and stop right there. Well, you know, there is one thing that Miss can't resist. A lap. A lap? Oh yeah! Daddy's right, Daddy. Every time I sit down, Miska jumps into my lap. Well, she didn't jump into my lap when I was studying. That's because Miska recognizes the importance of serious academic study. Well, whatever the reasons, I think if you guys go in and sit on that sofa, she'll stop dancing and jump right into your lap. It's worth a try. She's really warm. Well, she was dancing a lot. She must be tired. Oh, I see she stopped dancing for you. Yeah, she danced so long that we think she's exhausted. Well, you know, sometimes you just gotta dance. Never compulsively dance again. I know I'm supposed to do my homework, but now I have another problem. What's that? I'm hungry. Ugh, you're always hungry. Well then go to the kitchen and get something to eat. Okay.
Potter. Paco, stop that. Here we go again. <laughs>